<laughs> Look at my beard. <laughs> I got bangs. I got bangs. I got <laughs> Today is a very special day because I've lost it. I've come too far down to the other side. I've bottomed out. It's time to remove some of this hair. Jen's gonna cut her hair today. I am not allowed to help cut the hair, but I will be holding this mirror. Fun fact about this video, not only am I doing a DIY project on my hair, but we're gonna be doing some other projects later. Mm -hmm. This video is brought to you by Cricut. We're gonna be using the Cricut machines to make our own DIY merch later. Yeah. I was really resistant to cutting my hair DIY for a long time in the mm -hmm. pandemic, and I wanted to wait until it was safe to get a haircut, but I just, I'm sick of it. I feel like it's been watching Jen kind of slowly be boiled in water over like the course of a year. You just, your hair is very a part of you and like you, I used to turn the clippers on every time I talk about feelings. <laughs> You've grown so much hair, it's crazy. This time a year ago, I had basically shaved sides almost. And this is like pretty much a full pony. I don't trust myself to do a full haircut, but I definitely want to just get rid of some weight. And so I'm going to be cutting an undercut into the ponytail. Mm -hmm. That is the goal. If I get optimistic and think I could go further, I might try and take some off the top and do a little something, but I am probably will not. And we'll see. The thing, I think the stakes here are actually pretty low because you like your hair short and your hair grows pretty fast. Yeah, I've watched one YouTube video. I'm ready to get this started. You wanna start, I know, Jen is so nervous. <laughs> I have a variety of tools at my disposal to make this easier. I'm using electric clippers, but I have like settings that go all the way from half to an eight. And the guide for the clippers says that you start with like a longer setting so that you can go shorter later. So I was told that you got to section the hair. Yeah, wow, you have so much hair right now. I just like, I mean, truthfully, like here's the thing. I know I have like nice hair. Sensory wise, it's just too much. It's on my neck, it's touching me. So it's time. Are you sure you don't want me to hold this mirror for you? <laughs> I'm sure. I was told to treat it like a mullet. Do you want me to like leave? <laughs> no. Will you help me section? Yes. Okay, fine. <laughs> Here, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to brush your hair. I know you- Yeah, try and make it like a straight line. Yeah, I know. This is gonna be a very serious kitchen chore. So is it to your ear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's no way you could've done this on your own. I could've done a bad job on my own and that would've been fine. <laughs> you would've been crying. No. And I don't do that anymore because of the antidepressants. <laughs> hell did that woman in the YouTube video I watched do it in three minutes? Probably because she's been doing it enough where she makes videos about it. Oh, we're making a video about it. Yeah, I know. We make videos about all sorts of things we're not good at. <laughs> Welcome to the Kitchen and Joran Show. <laughs> where we f make a mess. Oh, I think actually this looks pretty good. Oh, wow, Kristen, you did a great job. Thank you, Kristen. <laughs> Please be careful. Perhaps if I read the instructions, no, it's the children that are wrong. So this is a six. What do the different numbers mean on the guards? It's like the lower number you get, the shorter your hair will be. Oh. So if you start at like a one or a two, your hair's gonna be pretty short. And like my dresser usually does like, I'm usually about at one and a half or a two, like when I'm getting it done professionally. <laughs> but I'm doing it done. I'm doing it mealy. Whatever, I'm gay. Yeah, I mean, listen, no matter what, you're still gay. Yeah. Oh, there she goes. Well, somewhere in Illinois, my mom just sat straight upright and was like, my heart! <laughs> also, let me know if you want me to try this. Yeah, I mean, if you see me getting into the danger zone, scream at me. Well, you're not cutting very much because it's you're at six. Oh uh, yeah, I guess we should go deeper. Like, I'm kind of wondering if we shouldn't just take the scissors and kind of just go around the bottom. Let's just do that real quick, okay? Bye, hair. Bye, hair. You were annoying. You were annoying. <laughs> you were annoying. No, you were annoying. No one liked you. Bye. Goodbye. You smell like your Look at my beard. <laughs> Uh, this actually might be a good time to talk about our friends at Cricket. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, my, oh, my hair is long again! Or, or shorter. shorter, I don't know. We don't know. We're here to talk to you about the Cricut Joy, which is the easy, portable way to make everyday crafting projects a little bit easier. Ooh, tell me more. Cricut Joy is a perfect companion to personalize anything with one cut and one color in 15 minutes or less. It's portable, it's simple, it's easy to use, and we're gonna make some projects to show you. So we thought we'd make some Kitchen and Jordan type stuff. Some yeah. Kitchen and Jordan crafts. Let's make some stuff. Let's make some stuff. Kristen has this really cute tank top that she doesn't use very much, so I was thinking this would be a really good product to do, you know, some little Cricut press on, maybe add a little message, maybe a little image. So what's fun is I downloaded the Cricut Design Studio to my laptop and so I can pick the image that I want to put. 
Cool. Cricut Joy is Cricut's smallest smart cutting machine ever. It fits in a cubby or looks great on a counter. Cricut Joy packs away easily and sets up instantly, making it super easy to move from room to room. Cricut Design Space makes it super easy to make your own fun designs on your desktop and mobile, and you can design and make things anywhere quickly and easily. Because of its design, Cricut Joy uses Cricut Smart materials, which are different from other vinyl and paper. These materials are designed to work without a cutting map, so there's less to buy and transport. Cricut Joy is the perfect companion to quickly and easily personalize anything with one cut and one color in 15 minutes or less. It it is fun, functional, and simple to use. Practical, everyday projects have never been more accessible or easier. I have successfully completed a Cricut project and I would like you to see a little model of mine. Come on out here, honey bear. Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> Listen to these tits. And they say sorry. <laughs> this turned out really well. Yeah, I was amazed by how easy it was to use both machines and to get a really cute shirt for you. Do you like it? Yeah, it seems like the Cricut has like a bunch of different things it can do. So we can make shirts to say sorry, Kelly. We can make coasters to say sorry, Kelly. We can make bags to say sorry. Really, we can say sorry to Kelly in a variety of different in mediums. Any way. Any way we want to- Moment aside, Kelly. Any way we want to say sorry to Kelly, we can be sorry. We can be sorry, and we <laughs> will. But yeah, this, is, this turned out so cute. This turned out so cute. The Cricut Joy is small and portable, and it means you can craft pretty much anywhere. With anyone. With anyone. With I Jen, with me. With Kelly. With Kelly. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly, you weren't invited. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly. Sorry, Kelly. Kelly's always invited. I mean, it was super easy to personalize this shirt. We used a vinyl iron-on on this shirt, but the Cricut Joy can cut a whole host of different materials. Cricut products use their own smart materials, which are different than like typical paper. And the Cricut Joy is their smallest one yet, and it's designed to be used without a cutting board. Which is good, because you're not going to use a cutting yeah, board. Yeah, I'm not going to cut it. Yeah, Jen, this is Jen. Yeah, this is so Jen. There was no cutting board for There's this. There's no cutting board for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thank you to Cricut. This has been really fun, and now I got this shirt. Yeah, and I guess we should figure out what the hell is going on with my hair. Yeah, let's go. Back to that video. Shaboom! Oh my god, and we're back! We're back, and we're my back. hair still needs some work. It still needs some work. This is what Jen's hair looks like after the first cut. All right, we're gonna go down to four. Yeah. We're making progress. Not only do I feel comfortable, but I feel excited. It's the most comfortable I've been in a video. <laughs> This is maybe the least comfortable we've ever been in a video. Do you want me to hold this mirror? No. You're doing okay. Thank you. Well, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Where exactly that is, I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say it's not the most even right now, but that's okay. Yeah, we're still, we're no still asked kinda... if it was even, Kristen. Okay, sorry. Yours are gonna be a problem. Well, just let me know when you want me to take a whack at it. Mm-hmm. We're going to. You're doing okay. Do you want me to try? No. Okay. All right, you know what? Do you want to just get in here? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna do the main part of the back first. Okay. I'm honestly just cleaning it up. Thank you, Kristen. I think that looks pretty even. I think it looks pretty good, honestly. Thank you for trusting me to do your hair. Thank you. I know that's really hard, and I understand that it's tough. I don't know if I should do my sideburns, but my barber always does. We should probably cut these a little short first, because they're gonna get caught in the clippers. Considering that you watched one YouTube tutorial and I watched zero YouTube tutorials, I think this actually looks pretty Good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it actually, I think it looks pretty dope. I'm like shocked at how good this turned out. Yeah, me too. This is what Jen's hair looks like after the first pass. Honestly, the guards make it kind of foolproof. We're gonna touch up your sideburn just slightly. All right, now we're gonna do the other one. This looks pretty sick. This looks really cool. I'm pretty comfortable with like how the undercut turned out. Mm -hmm. Truthfully, it doesn't look that different straight on, but I do have a lot less hair. Okay, so now it's down. Mm -hmm. It does feel a lot lighter, obviously, because there's way less of it in the back. God, I'm so handsome. <laughs> I am so cute. <laughs> I mean, we know. Basically, I want to give myself a really short haircut because it's like, I just want to go back, but it's like, I don't trust myself to cut my shelves too short. I would rather, I want my barber to do it. I think since I've come this far, a part of me is like, why don't we just go all the way? But it's like, that's because of the fear. I'm done. We did it. This video's done. Wait, come here. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> no. Air in my tits. Sorry, like you're <laughs> the only one with that problem, Kristen. <laughs> so we're done cutting my hair. I really like the undercut. I think it looks good. Mm -hmm. I do feel like it's a lot lighter. If days pass and I feel more confident, we'll come for the rest. Thanks so much, Cricket, for sponsoring this, this, video. this video. And thanks to my head for being a bitch. <laughs>